Hey everyone and welcome to week four of our Get Out of Your Head online Bible study. Week four is the mile marker of the halfway point and I know we are all so excited to make it to the halfway point. And so Jenny, what would you say to somebody to encourage them to keep going? Oh, I mean, I hope you're enjoying it. I hope this is helpful and that, <laughs> that you feel encouraged. And I would just say that we are all in this together as far as this fight against our minds. And it does, you know, it does take several weeks to, to start to sort out of even what is going on inside. And so I hope more than anything, you feel encouraged that you know yourself better, that you know this book better, that you, you see God moving and giving you more authority and power over your thoughts, because that was a revelation to me. I don't think I fully realized how much authority we had over our thoughts until I did this work and this study. So I hope people are growing in confidence and are more encouraged that they have more authority than they thought. Yes, I think we'll gain a lot more than maybe crossing a finish line to a half marathon. We're going to equip ourselves for life, which is which is great and a total reason to do Bible study. There's something really neat to put tools in our toolbox for life. So, Jenny, um, as we move into our To the Girl segment portion of these videos, a large portion of our audience are moms. And so I know you are a mom of four kids, correct? You have correct. Four? Yes, four. Okay. So you are a mom and you kind of know, I'm sure what it's like maybe to experience mom guilt and just the day-to-day -day activities and what you have to do to get your kids from one activity to the next. And it might be a little stressful. And so I would love you to speak to the girl who maybe just yelled at her kids. Oh, well, I've never done that. I don't know what to say. I just never have lost my temper. I'm just kidding. I. Yes, I have lost my temper at my kids. I mean, my son was reminding me the other day of when not many times have I cussed at our kids, but one time I did, y'all. I did. And he was reminding me of it the other day. He never forgot it. He was like 10 years old and I lost my mind on him and I said a cuss word. So yes, I actually really relate to this and probably worse than you. You None of you have probably cussed at your kids. So anyway, I will say this, that, that there, those moments where I made huge mistakes, those are actually some of my favorite parenting moments. And my kids would say they were more marked by the grace in our home over the mistakes that we made and that they made than the times we did it right. That they actually will tell stories, of course, about the moments we got it really wrong. And what I love about that is it's the gospel, right? It's the gospel again and again. And if there's one thing we all want our kids to walk away with, it isn't behavior that is perfect, although on some days we would give anything for that. It is that they would know and walk with Jesus. Well, how have we known Jesus? How have we walked with Jesus? It's in our weakness. It's in our sin. It's when we've needed him. And so don't be afraid of those moments that you lose your mind. Just make sure that you apologize and that you bring them back to this book and you bring them back to a God who says, I forgive you as a parent. I forgive you as a five-year-old kid. I forgive you because of the blood of Jesus. And so I remember teaching my son about Romans where it says, in Romans where it says, why do I keep doing the wrong that I don't mean to do? And my son at the time was five years old and he was like, mom, that's exactly how I feel all the time. And the reason I brought up that passage was it's how I felt as a parent. I felt weak and, and I told him this is how I feel too. And so together we talked about sin and, and weakness and our God that saves from that. So don't be afraid of the, the weaknesses and the bad days. Those are actually probably shaping your kid more than the good days. Oh, I love that. I love what you said. Model Jesus is um, kind of what you sum that up to be. Remember to forgive or say, I'm sorry, just model Jesus for your kids. And one way that you can do that is just by getting into the word and knowing the truth, living the truth, because it does change everything, like we say at Proverbs. And so to all the mamas out there who might have just yelled at your kid, go back and watch what Jenny said again and again, because I think you're going to find a lot of encouragement from it. And Jenny, we are excited for week four of study. Like she said, keep going. Going. Um, keep doing your study. Keep opening the book. Keep opening the Bible because something good is going to come from it. So we will see you guys next week.